Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Income Stream Surfers. It seems like you guys are enjoying kind of the Ahrefs method, so I thought that I would go into a bit more detail with it today. Remember that Ahrefs is quite slow, so I'm going to have to be pausing this quite a lot, as you can see, already slow. But basically, there are a couple of things, there are loads of different things you can do, actually. Okay, the first thing we can do is we can look at you know how strong Ahrefs website is 20.6 million for comparison the website that I'm working for has 12,000 organic keywords okay this has 20 million okay and in the past month I think this is they've added another million so I did make some videos about um, no indexing and things like that but if I click on organic search here it really doesn't seem to be dropping I don't know what the hell happened on 26th of June 2020 okay maybe I do know what happened and I'm not gonna say what happened but you guys probably know what happened but yeah organic traffic has just been climbing for Redbubble which is really really interesting in the past 30 days it seems to have just yeah it's gone up not it's gone up a lot it's gone up six million keywords in 30 days that's insane what okay so that's the first thing we can do. We can look at Redbubble, and apparently, according to Ahrefs, it's growing, which I didn't know. I didn't think that was true. But Okay, so let's click on organic keywords first. This is the most fun, in my opinion. I'm going to pause. Okay, so I think the first kind of trap that people fall into, honestly, as this loads, I just want to talk about this, is they focus on the United States, but... Like, there's no problem with looking at the United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, Canada, France. This is still hundreds of thousands of potential keyword, all of these. So, like, don't only focus on the United States. You can look at the UK, you can look at Australia, Germany, etc., etc. Okay, so, first things first is you're going to see a lot of weird, <laughs> a lot of weird keywords. The second thing that I'm going to say is, interestingly enough, there are often some incredibly good keywords at the top okay so i'm going this has been here since the beginning okay <laughs> this is never uh this is this was in one of my very early videos i made i made a video about this but yeah the idea is just to l look for things that aren't uh oh that's a really interesting one that aren't copyright this could have like not many results, okay? Just before we look how many results this have, remember this is 8,500 a month and Redbubble is number one. Only a thousand results. Yo, that's not that many, honestly. That is, yeah. As you can see, this is like, you, you don't find this data anywhere. These tools are really particular and they use Google against itself, basically. And the way that it works is so interesting. Um, it kind of just keeps track of people's websites, basically. Probably uh, use, it uses its own uh, crawlers. I'm pretty sure. Hell of a boss. Interesting. This is a new keyword. Okay. This could be hella interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, it's anime. God damn it. <laughs> it's always anime. So like. You're not going to get loads of keywords on the first few pages, and I'm probably going to show you how to. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to deep, deeper into this, but it is definitely worth looking at the front as well, the really, really strong ones. Another thing we can do is we can put it by updated. So if I click this button here, this is going to take 10 minutes to load. So see you in five seconds for you. Yeah. So basically, Ahrefs is I'm just letting it load at the moment but it's it's basically just like a miniature version this is Google let's explain what Google is first Google basically has things called crawlers which will crawl through websites and they'll go through links etc etc and they'll just crawl everything okay that's exactly what that's all Ahrefs does as well okay it's just a much smaller and I guess they don't try and crawl everything. Like Google is worried about crawling everything and deciding whether it's worth putting in its index or not. This is this is the index, the all important index. It's every SEO's goal, especially at the moment with the problems that people are having uh, in the indexing, um, is to get indexed and to then rank on the index, rank number one for the index. Okay, but Redbubble does this for us. Redbubble 
ranks on Google's index for us. Okay. For most people, though, a lot of people are having problems with it at the moment. Ahrefs, all it does is it crawls important websites and it tries its best to estimate search volumes. Um, it's basically, they're just miniature versions of Google. And yes, I did have to search that. Okay, so this is really, really interesting because, as you guys know, I'm a fan of search operators because we can search by date. Ahrefs has recently introduced a thing where we can search by date, which is really, really cool. So a couple of things. Ahrefs, like I said, is like a miniature version of Google, but it's also more advanced because it gives us the data. This is why I forgot to say. Not only does it give us the data, so Google does not give us data. Okay, it gives uh, some data on um, what's it called? Ad AdWords. Google AdWords has some data. So if you do want some data directly from Google, you can use a free AdWords account to kind of do some research on it. But Ahrefs is obviously paid, but it does the same thing, and it shows us all of the data that Google doesn't show us. So it, so it shows us search volume shows us where we're ranking so it, google will show you where you're ranking but only the person who's in control of the website through search console this is getting quite complicated i hope you guys are following but the reason ahrefs is so good is because it picks up search terms not all of them which is why i like search operators as well because search operators aren't biased whereas ahrefs is biased towards keywords with volume but it's Ahrefs lets us do an advanced search inside it, just like a search operator, okay? Which is really, really interesting. So the first thing I want to do is I want to put position one to three. The reason I'm doing that is because if Google deems a Redbubble product, this is going to take 10 minutes to load. <laughs> if Google deems a Redbubble product instantly index worthy and also in the top three, so I've got it sorted by date, and position one to three. So anything that's fresh on Redbubble and is ranking instantly one to three is going to be a good keyword, in my opinion. We've got 643,000 results coming in, and I'm going to pause until this is done. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about right here. As you can see, this is some fresh content. First thing I can see here is Britney, free Britney t-shirt. Probably copyright, 4,000 results. Never mind. Tooth flag, American flag tooth. 45 results. Interesting. Wait, that seems like a really good keyword. I don't know why. It just seems like a really... Why does that seem like such a good keyword? I don't know. I would definitely check that out for sure. I reckon it's got more than that. Um, yeah, classic. So as you can see, Ahrefs is really, really, really good for finding keywords. You will not find this keyword anywhere else, for example. Probably not. Interestingly enough, he, someone, a person, just lost a lot of sales. So if you look here, guys, this this is another good thing about Ahrefs. We can see the process of why you're going to suddenly stop selling something randomly. This person here, um, this product was number one on Google. Okay. And then just suddenly, we don't know why. Interestingly, though, it's just changed. And now this result, which is the Redbubble search result page, is now rank 13 on Google. I would expect this to go up. Almost definitely, you can, guarantee, you can almost guarantee that this will go up to the first page. Um, so definitely that is a good keyword to get into. But not only that, if you make, I've just lost the keyword. There it is. If you make this now, okay, and you make a good design, okay, there is a chance that you will m take this person's spot, okay? This is the kind of things I'm looking for on Ahrefs, okay? I wanted to make a more detailed video about Ahrefs because I've made a load of videos about them in the past, but I've never really made like a really in-depth explanation of of it so yeah again this is interesting look before which what was ranking was the uh, Redbubble search result page but now what's ranking is this person's um, picture this per it's a picture you can see the image pack here so if I go on Google I type this in you'll see that that exact I didn't want to click that that's really annoying <laughs> okay let's Google that you'll see the picture somewhere here 
or not. Uh, okay. Well, to be fair, I'm in Italy, not in America. So that's that's why that's happening. But you, you get my point. If you're in America, you can search for the same thing. And that person's picture should um, come out. I'm forgetting English, guys, honestly. It should um, appear on Google. Okay, so I'm kind of getting really, really into this, but I'm going to force myself to go away from this, and I'm going to go on to the other things that we can do with Ahrefs. But what I'm showing you now, because Ahrefs is very recently, okay, they've, they've updated, and I keep making jokes about how slow it is, but now that I've been using the new Ahrefs for a while at work and um, also for videos, I've realized that this feature is so strong. Okay, if you compare it, for example, with the past month, it's going to take ages to load again, so I'll be back. But this is really, 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 really fresh data. Okay, the last thing I'm going to show you while on organic keywords of Ahrefs is uh, we can put it by new, or we should be able to. Okay, so I think the new option where you can put it so it just says new here is on uh, the top pages, which is the next thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you top pages next. But yeah, if you do 23rd of December compared with 23rd of November and you put it on updated, you're going to find some insanely fresh things that you just, you can't find anywhere else. Okay, and that's why, that's why I like Ahrefs because the keywords here, you're not going to find on any other tool because... This tool is not specific to Redbubble. It's, you can use it for any print-on-demand website. You can even use the method that I'm showing you now to find keywords for other print-on-demand websites. Or you can use Etsy to find keywords for Redbubble. Like, there's, there's no limit, honestly. There's really no limit. The only thing you have to be careful of is um, copyright. Copyright is a problem. Don't do copyright, obviously. Um, let us go to top pages because I really really like the top pages option here I think this is where the new option is or maybe organic keywords new but this is legacy I feel like it's not gonna have all the information okay so this is a really interesting um, section as well okay so these are the top pages on Redbubble the, the pages that have the highest amount of organic traffic as that's ridiculous. Why is that allowed? <laughs> That's a joke, right? They're crazy. How is that allowed? Oh my god, man. Red Bubble are absolutely crazy. I can't believe they do that. Okay, so you will find some very good stuff here. Okay? Some very, very good stuff. You just have to go slowly through it. Um, you, can e you can also just look at the keywords here. Some of them will be the same, a lot of them will be the same, honestly, as the other ones uh, from before. But you will find some amazing keywords, okay? Top pages is really, really interesting as well, like I just said. This is currently on all countries as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is I'm going to go back on organic keywords, and I'm going to put volume, and I'm going to put from 0 to 150, okay? You might think, what the hell am I doing? But the things that we're going to find here are potentially going to have more sales than the things with millions, and they're going to have less copyright problems as well. So let's have a look what comes up. Okay, so my theory was kind of correct, okay, but also kind of not. You'd have to look a lot through this. But as you can see, it has a lot of buyer keywords, stickers, stickers, stickers. I mean, these aren't very good keywords obviously but that's quite an interesting keyword steampunk frog oh my god that's a great keyword ha huh. interesting i'm going to show you one more thing that i've just uh, i'm glad that i remembered to show this as well so yeah you you would have to that's a really really good one that's a good idea you'd have to um look through this yourselves i'm just showing, i'm giving you the tools basically and hoping that these tools will allow you to search yourselves. The final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to put keyword contains steampunk, which I think is a really good idea. Let's see what happens. So this is anything that Redbubble ranks for with steampunk in the keyword. 
Okay, so yeah, I would, this is something I would definitely check out in detail. You can think of other words to put here. I'm probably going to make a separate video about this, honestly, because I've never made a video about putting adjectives into uh, the organic keyword section on Redbubble Ahrefs. That's a really interesting concept. I will definitely be looking at this further. Thinking about this in some detail, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on a spreadsheet of words that you can just put into search operators or Ahrefs, and I'll make a video out of that. So yeah, if you're looking forward to that, definitely subscribe so that you can see that, and I'll see you really soon with some more content. Thanks for all the support recently, guys, and peace out.